Welcome back to my channel, it's Veronica and I got something for you and I've actually got something for me. I think I finally made it to the point of my YouTube career where I can get free shit. And uh, I'd love to share it with you guys. So I got an email a few weeks ago from VT Cosmetics. I know, like, the VT Cosmetics, the ones that made, like, the BT21 makeup official line with a uh, BTS. And they asked if I wanted to review some things. So I was like, is it free? And the email said, yeah. So, I mean, like, I was like, yeah, sure. I, I love free things. I am a broke asshole. I, I was like, give me. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, so they sent me, like, a PR package. And I got it this earlier this week, and I'm just like so excited to open it. I was like itching to open it, but like I was waiting till I was on like a filming binge, just like filming video after video after video, so I could just get it out of the way. Um, so I've been very impatient. I've been waiting long. Here it is. It's just VT. Think your teeth. So hopefully they didn't send me like a toothbrush or something. But I'm gonna I'm going to open it, see what I think about it. Obviously this video is not sponsored. They just sent me the products for free to review. They didn't really say, oh your your review should be like good and we'll pay you. No no no, it's just free products. My review will be honest as fun. Honest as fun. Cause like, I don't know if you guys know, but I did dabble into K-beauty on YouTube a little bit a while ago, years ago, honestly. I've had a couple videos on my Korean sheet mask collection and other sheet masks that were sent to me. But I think this is the first video that I'm gonna be doing that addresses like Korean makeup. Cause honestly, I don't really use Korean makeup. Usually I use like Korean skincare, but the only Korean makeup that I use is lip tints and also BB cushions. So yeah, I don't really own a lot of Korean makeup. Honestly, it's just all Korean skincare. But yeah, I'm just so excited. It's gonna be a completely honest review of the, the products are shit. I'm gonna say so. I don't know if these products will still be in stock by the time I upload this. I've heard that the BT21 line is discontinued, but I don't, I don't know if that rumor is true. But if you guys wanted to check out any of these products that I will be reviewing, I will leave like links down below to like online shops and official retailers or like at least like the official VT social media pages down below in the description so you could check them out for yourself, I bet. It's probably not a new thing if you're ARMY, you probably already know the existence of VT Cosmetics and they're like toothbrush line, skincare line, makeup line, VT21. But I'm just, ooh. I'm excited. When I received this, well, prior to receiving this, they had me fill out a form, and that form was just asking for my skin type and my skin shade and any allergies and stuff. So I'm assuming that they catered the box to that. I don't know how many products they included in here, but I'm just gonna open that. I think I finally made it, Mom. It's like, am I a full YouTuber? No, I don't know. <laughs> BC21, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Um, okay, so here is uh, the what's inside the box. It's a, a lot of stuff. There's a lot of goodies. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> so there's like a huge bubble wrap of stuff. I'm just gonna put this away because I don't need that no more. Ooh. Okay, so how many items are in here? There are six items in my PR package. And uh, it's all BC21. So it's really cute. The first product that I received in my VT PR package is the Tinted Shimmering Luminizer, the Shooky one from BT21, the VT Cosmetics. I don't know if it'll focus, but here's like the back. Um, and then there's like the official sticker for line. And then, yeah, then the next one. So the next one that I got was a tinted foundation with cookie on the front. It has SPF 30 PA plus plus and then that also has the sticker on the side the third product that i got from the pr package is the bt21 cooling fit sun cushion and it has a van on the front and then there's the official line sticker and then there's the back so that's the Cooling fit sun cushion. I'm assuming that this is sunscreen in a cushion form. The fourth item that I got, it says art and lip liner and it is the RJ and Shimmy shade. That's what it is. Got a lip liner. The fifth item that I got in the PR package was the lippy stick special in shade number three, Poodle Pose Red. So Propose Red, I think. It's the Tata shade. Um, so it's like the newer one of their lippy lines, lippy sticks. It's like comic style. 
pop art kind of thing and there's the back the sixth and final product that i got in my pr package was a lippy stick special in the shade number four dry rose with van on the cover then there's a sticker and then there's the text there's a lot that they sent me i didn't i didn't expect that but it's, it's so exciting. Oh, so exciting. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be like swatching and testing out is the Shooky Tinted Shimmering Luminizer. So I'm assuming that this is like a glowy kind of base. I don't do my makeup a lot and when I do, I usually go really heavy. So maybe this will like change it up. So the inside packaging is really cute. Like look at that. It has like the galaxy from BT21. It's just like so cute, like comic, comic style. Like cosmic style, but I don't I can't even English. I'm sorry. So this is SPF 25 PA plus plus. Um, it doesn't say the shade, so let me just shake this up real quick. So this is like it on the back of my hand. Just going to rub it in. I don't know if you can see much of a difference with my lighting, but it's definitely more glowy and it feels a little bit more moisturized. Um, I don't know how this would do as a primer. I don't know if you can see this is the side where I put the luminizer And this is the side where there's no lum luminizer. So it's like glowy a little bit more tacky So I'm assuming this is a primer to put under foundation to make your foundation a little bit more dewy Definitely has like that sheen like that dewy sheen. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna be trying out is the Van Cooling Fit Sun Cushion. I'm gonna do that at the other side of my hand because I'm assuming that they both don't really have much of a tint. When you open it up, it has like this cute like van like cushion pad applicator thing. It's very soft, very bouncy compared to some of the other um, cushions that I've tried. And some of them are very thin, but this one's very, it feels very absorbent and bouncy. So it feels like it could absorb a lot and a little goes a long way kind of thing. When you open it up, it has like that seal. So you know that it's not been used. It's brand new. So Ooh. yeah, it is sunscreen or it smells like sunscreen. So this is like doing it once. This is where the luminizer is. I'm just gonna put it over here. It's very cooling, like it said on the package. I think this would be best for hot countries or maybe summer weather, because in Canada, we experience cold weather for like 80% of the year, honestly. It smells very nice. It smells kind of like lotion. Like it doesn't smell as sunscreeny as it does like when you sniff the cushion case directly but if you smell it after application it kind of smells like lotion like a regular moisturizer so it's not super heavy wow wow okay this is spf 50 the next product that i'm just going to quickly go over is the tinted foundation with cookie on the um packaging the shade that they gave me was shade three natural beige and uh it has cookie on the cover which is great because you know if you've watched any of my prior unboxings of bt21 things then you know that uh tata and cookie are my double bias faves i always have to collect both of them so it's it's convenient that it's like cookie but anyways um hopefully it matches me i don't know it seems kind of light but i can i can make it work with some bronzer and some contour color and we're gonna put it over here yeah Ooh. Oh, I feel like I put too much on there. Look at that. That's just, there is a lot. Now that I look at it, it might actually be my shade. Because it, it, oh, wow. Yeah, I think I, I, I put too much on my hand. It looks light on my hand, but that's because my hand is just really dark. My, my face and my neck are completely different shades from my hand. So I'm just going to like test it out on my skin and make it like blend. Yeah, I feel like I can make this, make this work with some bronzer. Korean shades are usually really light. Um, usually, like, I'm a 23 and then I powder it down with bronzer, but I can make this work. I can definitely make this work. And if this is anything like any other foundation that I've tried, it, it will probably oxidize and get darker to match. In person, it's not super light, um, but in the camera, it's like, yeah. Let's make you look whitewashed like the fan sites of um, your favorite K-pop idols. Just make you look white. But yeah, it's probably going to tone down, oxidize, um, and I can definitely make it work with some bronzer and 
all of my face makeup. So let's try this RJ and Chimmy lip liner in, it was shade number two, soft pink. So they sent me almost all of the BT21 members, Cookie Tata, RJ, Chimmy, Van, and Shuki just missing Mang and Koya. So here's the soft, was it soft? Soft pink art lip liner. So I'm just gonna try this on the other half of my hand up here. Just gonna try it. So this one's like a twist up kind of lip liner. And I don't know. But this is um, the swatch from the lip liner. It's kind of like a mauve pink. It's definitely a little bit on the darker side, but it's definitely like natural, my lips but better kind of shade. This is definitely good for like everyday wear. So the next one is um, the Tata shade of Propose Red, number three. It has a shade on the bottom, but once again, there's no English. It's all in Hangul. Um, so I kind of had to read this out, like spelt, like sound it out to kind of get what the shade was. Um, but the packaging is really cute. It's like a clear tube. You probably can't stand it on its head this way, but you can stand it over here because here's like the flat surface. And then it's just like that. I think all of the lip products have a slightly fruity smell. That's what I'm kind of smelling right now. Ooh. So let's just tr swatch this. So when I swatched it, it it's coming out a lot more red on camera, but it's actually like kind of pink. It's like a deep pink, almost red, but it's like more on the pinky side. It's not the type of red that I typically go for, but it's definitely not a red, at least to me. And the last one that I'm going to unbox is the Van Dry Rose number four. So the shade right after Tata. Oh, and from like the swatch at the bottom, it seems like it's going to be a very natural shade, probably maybe complementing the lip liner. As you can see, like the tube itself it's like half gray half white just like a van cute it is seems very natural and coral kind of peachy these aren't that pigmented upon like first application you kind of have to like do multiple because as you can see like it goes on light and then as you put on more layers it gets deeper so it's definitely not like a one swipe and you're done it's more like if you want a lot of color you go in there with multiple multiple layers of the lipstick. So the shade from this um, lipstick is like very corally, kind of orange, but it's very natural. If VT is anything like other Korean products, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a challenge to take that off. And that's a good thing. We all want like lip products that don't move throughout the day and that we don't have to reapply and reapply and reapply. So I'm just gonna be right back. Let me just get a makeup wipe. I did not come prepared. I didn't know that they were sending me this much stuff. Okay, so I have a makeup wipe right here. I'm going to try to remove it. So here's like after a couple swipes of the makeup remover wipe. Um, as you can see, the red does stain a little bit more than like the other shades, like the lip liner and like the Van lipstick, but it does stain. So it probably has some lasting power throughout the day. But it shouldn't be that hard to take off if you really wanted to. So here's like trying to remove the makeup off of my hand. It's still slightly there, but most of it's gone. So I don't think it's like an all day wear kind of thing. But you could potentially wear these every day if you don't mind like reapplying after a few hours. But I think that's like the, the name of the game with lipsticks. You gotta reapply every few hours. That was my quick unboxing of my VT Cosmetics BT21 ER package. I'm going to try on these products in a full face of makeup. And hopefully I'll just cut right into that right after this so you guys can see. And I will wrap up my thoughts and everything after that. And uh, yeah. And if you are a company watching this video, do not hesitate to contact my business email. I love free stuff. Just, just send it my way I will be glad to accept them and review them because I'm a solo and I'm bro I'm very broke so. so using the sunscreen cushion um, I'm going to start off with a naked face there's nothing on my face other than moisturizer I think I don't even put any primer down I'm just doing sunscreen and I'm patting it all over my face as you can see and for some reason I decided to use the cookie foundation first instead of using the Shooky luminizer and grabbing my beauty sponge which was the eco tools green blending sponge I dotted the foundation all over my face and then um, I tabbed it 
into my face using the wet sponge. Easy as pie. Simple, explanatory. I'm just going to skip through all of it because basically it's just me blending the rest of the foundation into my face and neck. And after that, I decided to do the rest of my makeup using powders and blushes, and then I went in with my luminizer. I initially wanted to use this as a primer, but I guess I just decided to use it as like a on top highlighter over all of my powders for some reason. Don't ask me why, but I just, I did it anyway. I dotted it on the high tops of my cheekbones, my nose, cupid's bow, and chin, and I just blended it in with my sponge. And then the next one is all the lips. I decided to go ahead with my RJ and Chimmy lip liner, the one that is like a mauvey pink. And uh, yeah, it takes me a while to do my lips, so that's the finished result of the lip liner. And then I decided to layer the Van lipstick right on top because it was like a similar color palette, maybe a little bit brighter than the lip liner itself. And then right after I finished this look, I guess I just took it off just to see how it lasts and then I tried on the uh, Tata shade so like the reddish pink shade on camera it does look a little bit more red than um, it, it was in person but it, it's a cute color and then just watch me doing some awkward faces because I'm trying to show off the color and then I try to take off the Tata lipstick it does stain I'm not sure if it's because my lips are naturally pigmented but yeah, that's uh, my total review. I hope you liked it. Bye.